Hey everybody, it's your girl Jackie O, but many of you know me as Lil Pumpkin Pie 05, aka Makeup Game On Point. RPGshow.com sent me a second wig to review, and I have to say I'm quite impressed. I really feel like this one's a little bit fuller than the previous one. So um, I really like a lot of big, big curly hair. And uh, that's exactly what I did here. I took some photos, it was game over. Everybody kept asking me, what wig is that? How'd you curl it like that? Boom, boom, bam. So I thought, you gotta talk about it. You gotta talk about it. I put all of the details of this unit, hair type, texture, inches, all of that stuff to your liking will be down below this video, the information bar, as well as a coupon code. So those of you guys that plan on purchasing this one or any other units from RPG Show, you got a coupon. I'm going to be showing you guys how I get all of this lushness. I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial. And now I'm going to go ahead and talk about what you will need to get these curls. We're going to be doing some pin curls, so make sure you have bobby pins or pin curl clips. I have two different types of combs. I have a wide tooth comb, then I have a regular um, fine tooth comb. Hairspray of choice. I'm using the Elnet spray from L'Oreal. I thought it would be a really great way to demonstrate my new me curling iron. Remember when I was telling you guys about that flat iron? Yeah. Comes with the curling iron too. Then you'll need a large butterfly clip to clip away all the sections of hair that you're not curling. You want to start off with a section that's about this much in thickness. Comb it out with a fine tooth comb. Spray the section with hairspray first. And then I'm going to curl outward. Then I'm going to hold it for about 10 seconds. Flip the curling rod downward and release and coil them back up as if it were back on the curling rod. And then I like to kind of pull it apart so that it's not so tight. And then that's when you take a bobby pin and pin it at the base. So you're gonna leave it just like that. The next section of hair I'm going to take, spray it with spray. The first curl we just did, we curled outward. This curl we're going to curl in the complete opposite direction. So I'm going to curl this inward. That is the secret to when you want your hair to look really big, really flowy, almost kind of teased. You want to switch the direction in which you curl the hair. Don't make them all go in the same direction or else they'll all kind of like form together, which is really pretty, but that's not the look that I'm going for today. So we're going to constantly rotate then rotate it downward and release. Coil that back up to the base. Keep doing that all over your head. Make sure you rotate your curls. Don't curl them all in the same direction. And it should take you about 20 minutes tops.
gonna do this last curl and then I'm gonna show you how I do the hair that frames my face. I take my flat iron, which is also from Numi. I just like doing that, I know it's really annoying. I comb that section out, give it a spray. I run the flat iron through, meanwhile rotating it upside down, almost like I'm drawing out a C. And then I will roll that up the same way I would a curl and then I pin it. All right, congratulations, you finished your whole head of pin curl. Take your hairspray and give your whole entire head a spray. The idea behind pin curls is, okay, you apply heat to the hair. The hair is hot, it curls. Once it starts to cool, that is what locks that curl into place. So ideally, the longer you leave it in the cooling phase, aka the pin curl, the better your curl will turn out. But anybody got time for that? So we're just gonna go ahead and take them out now and they'll still turn out just as beautiful. All right, so what you should have now is a big old curly mess. This is how you get it to look big and voluminous. Pull apart, stretch, and comb out those curls with your fingers, or even better, use a wide tooth comb, but for now I'm going to just use my fingers. You wanna pull the curls apart as much as you can. The more pulling apart you do, the bigger it will get. The idea behind doing it this big is in two hours, I promise you it won't look like this. It will fall so naturally pretty that you won't be able to stand yourself. You won't be able to stand walking by a mirror without wanting to kiss yourself. It will be so pretty. Another thing that also helps is when you flip your head upside down and kind of like tossle it and give it a quick shake. But that pretty much concludes the tutorial. I'm going to show some pictures on my blog of how it looks like progressively throughout, well not progressively, but I'll show you how the toned down version of it looks. So for those of you guys that watched all the way to the end thank you so much for watching thank you to rpg show for sponsoring this amazing wig really really great quality quality guys i couldn't be more impressed the first time you saw me review their wigs i was saying it was a little on the thin side they say that all of them are 100 percent density so it's considered normal but this one feels fuller so um yeah and i know that they sent it to me in stock so yeah hats off to them love their wigs love their units guys let me know what you think of the tutorial and i will see you at the next video